What's up guys, this is Sean from Platinum Window Tinting. Uh, today I'm going to show you every step involved with stripping a back window, shrinking a back window, and installing the back window. Also, final steps to give it a nice clean job. Alright, now the first step we're going to do is we are going to strip the back window. And now, if you've seen my previous video on how to strip a hatch window on an SUV, you know what this is right here. We're using a Wagner steamer. It's used for removing wallpaper. We're just going to fill it up with some water. Once it's filled up with water, we're going to attach the hose onto this. Now remember, this is the Wagner. You can get this from Home Depot. Uh, it's about $65, I believe. You hook the hose up, and then you have the wallpaper attachment. Now what we're going to do with this, we're going to open the door. Now I like to put it behind the seat belt right here so that it holds it in place run it up into the back and we're just gonna lay it right in the back right in the middle and let it warm up and start steaming alright guys now while that window is steaming up and it's getting all hot so we can peel the film off I'm gonna discuss the tools that we're gonna use to the back window this is just about for any window for any back window on any car you're going to need, of course, the inside towel to clean the window. And then hanging right here, we have the outside towel, which is drying. This is used to clean any debris off the window before we go to put the dryer sheet on. That makes sure there's no sand or debris on the window. Because if you go to shrink a piece of film on the back window that has, has any type of grit, overspray, I mean heavy overspray, or sand pieces on the glass, you're going to end up ripping a hole in the film the way that I do it, which I use a hard card. Um, I'm going to explain to you and show you how to shrink the window film with a rag so you can minimize those problems if you have a piece of glass that has a lot of overspray and a lot of bumpy texture to it. So, of course, first you need the interior rag. You're going to need the typical Wagner heat gun. Um, any heat gun will use. Any heat gun will work. Um, you're going to need a side swiper. This is for getting the bottom of the window. You get both sides. And then the bulldozer. This allows you to go behind the brake light so you don't have to cut out for it. Also right here we have a scrubber. It's basically a Velcro pad. And then we have the blue non-score pads, which I get from Home Depot. They're Scotch brand. They don't scratch the glass, they don't scratch the defrosters, but they do take off the residual glue or any dirt that's behind the brake light. This is for getting down the brake light. You're going to need your downy dryer sheet. This is used for applying to the glass so that when you lay the film on it, you can shrink it easier. It doesn't stick to the glass. It just floats on top. And, of course, you drop light. This, since we're doing, window, um, since we're doing limo tint on this car, you're going to need a drop light to put inside the car for when you make the final cut. Okay, now let's go over the solution that I'm going to use. This solution is not only for back windows, but you use it for the side doors, you use it for cleaning the outside of the windows, you use it for prepping the windows. Um, this is basically an all-purpose window tint solution, installation, and cleaning. Right here I have the Impact Junior Pump Up Hand Sprayer. Um, right now it's filled up to water to about right here. And the soap that I'm going to use, many people use Johnson's Baby Soap. I use guaranteed value. It's stop and shop brand, the cheapest stuff you can get. It's a dollar for these bottles and I buy like 10 bottles at a time so it lasts you forever. Now, to get a close up, I'm gonna show you exactly how much I put in here. Okay, now, what you do is take the bottle, and just a little squirt, just like that. All right, now before you even think about climbing in this back seat to clean or apply the window film, you're gonna to wanna to put both of the front seats up so you have enough room for your feet to get in when you're kneeling on the seat. You don't want to mess up the people's interior and you want to be comfortable back there when you're applying the window film or cleaning the window before you apply the window film. Alright now for this car um, you're gonna to want to roll down the windows on the doors since we're not removing the doors we're only removing the back window. The first step to shrinking the back window is prepping it. You always got to wipe off all the dirt in the back window. Next thing you want to do, apply your dryer sheet. Just wet it up a little bit.
apply a nice even coat, even coverage throughout the whole piece of glass. And now once your dryer sheet is completely dry to touch and is not wet at all, you can apply your window foam. You're going to apply it with the clear, the clear film facing you. And then cut off from the bottom. Now you want to make sure you're covering the whole glass. You don't want to have any light spots. Now you're going to cut off your excess around the edges. You want to make sure that you're only cutting in the black area. You don't want to cut where the actual visibility is on the window. And you're going to do a rough cut. We're not cutting exactly right now. We're just cutting it so it's not overhanging. And then do your H pattern again to ensure it's mounted to the window properly. And you can save this piece of film from the bottom if you did it wide enough to do a windshield strip on the car.